and a very warm welcome to this RJ85 approach into London City. Uh, Joseph Aviation Flight Charter Service from Manchester. So we're just coming into the captain's seat now. We're just about to pass flight level 100 or 10,000. So the landing lights can come on, seatbelt signs on, exit lights can come on. Just being a little bit careful. It's a little bit bumpy around. Uh, weather in London City is uh, gusting, not gusting winds as well. So we do have to be really, really careful. So there's no traffic around us or anything around us. We are now self-vectoring ourselves onto this approach. Now, for you, the people that know and understand London City and what the airport has to offer as such, it offers one of the most challenging approaches in the UK. It's a 5.5 degree glide. Now, how personally I would approach London City, and I'm no professional, but if you want to try and get down and get down and sort of get the best possible touchdown as such what I recommend is to follow this video and this video will be able to show you what you're looking for at London City and sort of how to fly the approach to a, to a quite a good standard so we're going to talk through the chart and um, previous or before is we've got minimums of 630 today of course at a 5.5 degree glide, we're establishing at 2,000 uh, feet at 3.4 miles. So, at 3.4 miles, 2,000 feet, and we'll establish then. Um, it obviously, like I say, steep approach. So we're just going to get ourselves configured really, really, sort of as early as possible. Um, so that's why we're sort of bringing that speed back as best we can to 200 and uh, 215 knots. To be completely honest, looking for about 215 knots on the. Uh, on the speed, we'll get the ILS information up as well on the display. So just about to pass flight level seven zero. Local Q and H in uh, London City this afternoon is one zero zero nine. So we're going down to five thousand feet. So I'll recycle now to one zero zero nine. There we go. So we're continuing our descent down now. So what I want to do is I want to start considering a little bit of flaps and sort of seeing where we can get around that sort of area. So we're going to turn 200 on the heading. And what we have set up here is two fixed rings. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the second fixed ring. Uh, we've got 5 miles and 10 miles. I want 0, 5, 0. Uh, no, I don't want 050, that's the Manchester fixed ring, so I want 093, sorry. So 093, and I want 3.4 miles. That is now set up a ring at 3.4 miles, so that will tell us where to be at 2,000 feet at, and where we need to sort of start being fully configured for the drop. Uh, the, the lovely approach that London City does have to offer. So we're just approaching 5,000 feet, what you heard there was the 1,000 feet to go call. I'm going to maintain on this heading for now. So the ILS of course is 273, we've got that set my side and the FO side and the ILS frequency is 111.15, that's my side set and FO side 111.15 also uh, also set. So we're looking at where we're sort of coming in now, it's a 10 mile ring we've got there. So I'm going to bring it around to a sort of a heading that we can establish on. So I'm going to say 215 to establish, that's an OK heading. So I'm going to hit Vorlock and we are uh, going to establish the best possible sort of, at the best possible time we can. We're going to continue our descent down to 3,000 feet now. I'm going to bring that speed back to about 190 knots, or thereabouts, 190 knots. Okay, so a bit of flaps now. We'll get a flap 18 out. That will start with it, helping with the process of our descent and slowing down. South End is over there somewhere. There's South End. That's our diversion airfield if anything goes wrong. Which this is London City, so something might go wrong. <laughs> Plus, we are gusting and uh, 23 knots on wind, so we've got to bear that in mind as well on this approach. And uh, when we departed Manchester, 
it was a bit of a cross and it is maintaining to be a bit of a cross so if you work it out it's going to be a cross from so the 2.7 uh, is there okay that's fine okay so it's going to be a bit of a cross we should be okay I want to continue down now to 2,000 feet. Speed back 170 knots. Might need a little bit of speed brake here just to help the, or air brake just to help the slowing down process and our descent rate. And this, as you can see, at 215 is going to be a bit sharp. So if we we'll go 220, hopefully that will just reduce how sharp the turn will be. And there's the airport there on our screen. Brilliant stuff. So about 3,000 feet. So we'll look at getting flat 24 out. So we need to be at 2,000 feet by there. So we need to lose quite a lot of uh, height here. It's a bit more air brake. Might need to go vertical speed here. I thought we would have to, so we're using the speed, uh, the air brake as well, to the best of our advantage. Let's uh, try and hold that speed back as best as possible. See, so, yeah, again, we're looking at this turning to get the localizer starting to look a little bit sharp. So we've got, yeah, again, so we've got two, three, five now, just to really, really sort of assist it round onto this, onto the, um, onto the localizer. And then we'll reduce the vertical speed now because it's uh, descending quite nicely. Uh, speed back to 160 knots. There's the localizer. As you can see in a second, the bottom uh, sort of pink square will come across, and that'll indicate that we are uh, starting to get the localizer. Thousands go. So we'll go flap 24. Our final approach speed into city is 116. So we need to bear in mind that. We've got a gusting knot of 20 knots, so we're going to come in at about 125 to 130 knots. So 130 is the final approach speed. Radio altimeter. Ignore that, that's fine. So we've really got to look at bringing that speed back now. Uh, just about to level off at 2,000 feet, so we need to hit that glide path in just a second. And we need to be fully configured. The air brake can go away uh, now. We'll have the gear down. Flap 30. And flap 33. And we'll now hit approach. And we will get the air brake out. So we're going to get that diamond in just a second. All red on the lights at the minute, that's fine. Bear in mind we have the uh, air brake out now. So that's why we're getting such a strong, uh, so much power from the engines, but it is needed. This is what I meant by getting configured really early. So we've got 16 knots gusting, 14 knots gusting. So the winds are gusting, 10 knots now gusting. Bang on cross as well. So there comes the glide. There's the drop. Go around here at Cities 3000. Really are starting to feel that now. My aircraft, my throttle. Really, really are feeling this now. Now, there are normally two white lights that appear in the touchdown zone, um, but they're not appearing here at the moment really are struggling aren't we with this wind bang on cross the 12 approaching 
approaching decision height. Minimum. Continue. Five hundred. Five hundred feet. Also, Jen hasn't loaded in, but I'll ignore that for now. Two red, two white on the puppies. Gusting fourteen on the cross. One hundred and fifty. We're down. Really got to hit them brakes hard here at City. And there we have it. There we go. APU is on, lovely. There we go. Air brake can go away. And the flaps can come up. That was a landing rate of 248. A little bit hard, but at London City, any landings is a nice landing. If that makes any sense. With the wind we had as well, I think that was a lovely landing. And literally, we were going straight ahead here at gate number three, which is incredibly lucky. Right, they can come off. Before we start our turn, the strobe lights can also come off. There we go. Now this is an absolute pain. No matter what you fly, no matter how you fly it, this will never ever be simulated properly in the simulator this turn. There we go. I don't know how accurate that was, because I had no marshaller, but that weren't too bad. Okay, so we'll shut down the aircraft and I'll just uh, give you a quick debrief. Okay, APU gen running, APU is... Generator is on, main generators can come off, fuel pumps can come off, apart from the left inner. Hydraulics off, that's fine, cancel the alert. Anti-ice, or the ice protection, sorry, can also come off. Cabin air off, APU air can remain on. And um, yeah, the APU air can remain on. Uh, strobes are off, nav lights are remaining on, beacon light on. And the entry lights can come... Oh, they can remain on, and we'll actually keep APU on there. That's perfect, okay, so... There we go. Release the passengers. And we will request the boarding. And we will have service out and we will now open up all the required doors and we'll have to even take ground power as well uh, so the ground power comes on the APU generator comes off and the APU comes off and we'll lose the inner fuel pump there we go so that was a that was our approach into London City um, quite hot on the brakes they've got a brake temperature there of just about a hundred degrees so it was quite hot on the brakes. Quite lucky, it's quite a cold day as well. It's going to work to our advantage. So we will open the required doors as, as well. Brilliant stuff. So there we have it, everybody. That was our approach and landing into London City. And we're on the gate here at City, so T gas can come off as well. The problem with London City is one of the name airports where you, you disembark, uh, disembark, where you land and vacate. You're literally so full on workload. That's one of the things of London City, unfortunately. So there we have it, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed that approach and landing into London City. And I hope, well, see us. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. So thank you very much. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.